While golf may not have the same level of popularity that football, soccer, and basketball may enjoy, golf players are still some of the highest paid sports athletes in the world. This has been historically true, with Tiger Woods being the first sports athlete in the world to have earned over $1 billion, and is still easily the highest paid golfer of all time, and continues to remain true now. According to Forbes' list of highest paid sports athletes in the world in 2023, seven out of the top 20 paid athletes were golf players, the biggest contribution by any sport. While the highest paid athletes in the world in 2023 are Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, and Kylie and Mbappe, golf players aren't far behind see 15 highest paid female athletes in the world. In the last couple of years, the world of golf has undergone major upheaval, the biggest in decades and perhaps even in its history. Historically, golf has been governed by the PGA Tour, which was founded nearly a century ago in 1929. PGA Tour is responsible for the organization of most of golf's biggest events, including the majors. However, a huge challenge was launched to the PGA by Live Golf in 2021 which is fully financed by the Public Investment Fund, Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund. Many top golfers, including some of the highest-paid golf players in the world, left the PGA Tour because of the vast earnings offered by Live Golf's unlimited funding. The PGA Tour announced that any players going over to Live Golf would be banned by the PGA Tour, and many former world number ones and major champions made the move. While others stayed loyal, undoubtedly impacting the earnings of some of the highest paid golf players in 2023. Phil Mickelson, who was one of the highest earning PGA golf players in 2022, also signed for Live Golf the same year and was suspended by the PGA Tour in response. Live Golf's incredible salaries to entice golf players has ensured they played a major part in determining the highest paid golf players in the world. In 2023, the PGA Tour and Live Golf announced that they were going to merge. After several antitrust lawsuits being filed against each other, with said deal resulting in all such litigations being ended. However, the merger has not yet been completed and has received severe criticism from many groups, all of which will impact the outlook of the sport. Having said that, according to the National Golf Foundation, its overall reach is nearly 120 million people in just the United States alone, the country with the highest golf players in the world. This doesn't mean that 119 million people play golf, but followed it on television. Read about it online or listen to a related podcast, an improvement of 12% year on year. Meanwhile, 25.6 million actually play golf in the nation. Golf while having traditionally been dominated by men, has also found a growing audience in women. And in 2020, 25% of women played golf for the first time ever.